Seattle Seahawks returned to the practice field today after their 20 to 17 win over the San Francisco 49ers. Good news off the practice field. Safety Rayshon Jenkins was designated to return to practice today after missing four weeks on the IR because of a hand injury. And also quarterback John Rice Plumley was signed to the practice field. You know, we just we push the things back. There's some things we don't have in the building, but it's uh, we're, 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 we're just fine. you know, he, he looks good, he's in good spirits. Um, just add, adding another great player to, to our guys and um, kind of getting back in the mix with you know how we're going to be able to utilize those safeties. And um, it's exciting times to see where see how the week will shake out. My knowledge, I mean, I'm sure he's a little sore, but uh, be out there today, he's in good spirits. We start ranking things about what we're trying to achieve here, and that's at or near the top of the list so um, I know we've you know we're on a, a slide here at home and uh, we're trying to do a couple things you know to make it come to life I mean we're treating this like a like a home playoff game for us I mean so we need the 12s rocking and uh, you're right that's the vision that's what we're trying to create so uh, let's get it started this this sounds like a synergy to it on on how they're playing and uh, how efficient Ky Kyler's plan is playing decisive uh, they do a great job they're a, they're a it's a different uh, operation than we've seen. It's a, you know, it's a ton of gap scheme, ton of pullers. Uh, they do a great job protecting the football. And then, you know, if all else doesn't go to plan, then, you know, Kyler's uh, one of the best in the business at extending plays and kind of making you pay late in the down too. So um, the easy answer would be say that the, the, run, the run game kind of starts it, but they kind of have all the things going, all the play actions, the movements, the screens, it's kind of all works together. So, uh, they got a they got a great system and they're executing a high level. Right. The Niners week, I mean, we kind of lost. You know, put it this way: look, we've earned the opportunity to be fighting for, you know, the lead in the division going into the home stretch. So that's the way we're treating it. It's uh, very much like a playoff mindset for us at this point. Can't be, can't afford to drop games. It's just um, you want to you want to have the you know, the right to play for these really important games in December and January. You gotta you gotta be able to execute and put yourself in that situation. It's basically a December football game from point four X nine. Things I think we're doing really well. Uh, I would like it to be a little bit more consistent in terms of generating pressure. You know, you go back and you look at last game, 
I thought we affected Purdy in some cer certain situations the right way. Like he got out a couple times, and those are the ones that drive you crazy. But uh, he's a great player. I <laughs> mean, so it's like, you know, um, there's going to be a couple plays throughout the course of a game where you f you know you might fall short. And you're st and you're, but your process and you're doing a lot of good things as well. Couldn't tell you where we land in like pressures and sacks and all that, but I think what's helped those opportunities is creating more of those opportunities for the guys. So I think it speaks more to our progress that we've made on early downs. You, well, a couple things. He was a savant. I mean, we we basically took kind of what what Wake was doing in 2018, and then our roster shifted, and we had Earl, so we did a lot, but we built a lot we were doing around his skill set. Um, but he would just know. He just knew like the route concepts, where the ball was going, how the quarterback operated, how to manipulate stuff. So that was really cool to see him do his thing. He did it unconventionally. I mean, he was playing the post from like some some dangerous alignments, but uh, <laughs> he got the job done. And I think honestly, when listening to your question, how hard he plays and just the energy during the games, uh, this guy just played with an elite motor and just. Uh, it, it's a you know it's a shame to wait in because I, you know I just I was excited for that second year. The uh, team needs us to score. Um, I mean we did it, um, and then especially the defense uh, really came up with some big stops for us to be able to get the ball back and uh, you know score when we needed. Like you said, man, it's been six games since we've uh, since we've uh, been able to beat them, so uh, felt good. But uh, now on to the next and uh, on to Arizona right now. All right, so there you go. You saw the B-roll and the injury report. And uh, the Seahawks did give a shout out to everybody out there because of the power outages and uh, just hoping everybody's safety and health. Back to uh, on the field, McDonald talked about, you know, you know, Jenkins could really come and help the team. And if you remember, Jenkins had the 102 yard scoop and score against the Giants. And they're going to need some safety help against the Cardinals, who have won four in a row and are coming off a bye weekend, as we all know, they're led by Kyler Murray, who is by far having his best season since his rookie season. So uh, big game coming up, and the Seahawks are all ready for the task, and it was a really feel-good practice for them. From the VMAC in Renton, I'm Asvita Marita for the CascadiaSports.net report. Thanks for watching, listening, and subscribing.